All right, thank you for checking out Cooking, the sequel. I've decided, because it's Cinco de Mayo, make something in Spanish. I went with cheesy beef taco, because we know Spanish people love tacos. Also, because this is the sequel, we have all the same stuff from last time. We have this guy and his friend, and I have this guy again, too, to measure stuff, because I still don't know how big everything is. I have the milk, also from last time, so I gotta make this quick before this expires. And now, special, for the sequel, we've added this character here, a can opener. And also, this one I came up with on my own, the spoons. So here it is, cooking part two. All right, stove top directions. First, I'm gonna get my cups of water and milk, though. One cup of milk first. Okay. And I also need one and a quarter cups of hot water. I wonder if I can put them in together. That will mean basically once I get to two and a quarter cups, I should stop. Let's see. Yeah, right. That feels about good. But I don't really know for sure how you open it. Oh, that feels good. That's not good. See, it keeps coming off of the thing. I got it like halfway open. Nope. All right, see, that's good, but, okay. I do know this, you're not supposed to let the lid go inside. A lot of cooking is knife-based. A lot of people don't know that about cooking. Be careful, you should probably wear protection while you're cooking. And I'll bend it back. That's how hobos eat beans. That smells like it's rotten already. Here goes the 10-inch skillet. Let me get the directions. I need to know how hot to make everything. Doesn't say. All right, put on high, I guess. Let's see. So this is getting hot. Pour a can of sauce into skillet and stir an entire pack of seasoning. So, Jesus. Wow. Now I gotta get this guy in here. Oh, come on. Hold on. Oh, I'm going already. There you go. All right, I gotta stir this. Now I'm stirring. I feel like a witch. I got a cauldron. It doesn't tell you when it's well blended, you just gotta guess. Oh, hold on, this thing's really heating back up now. Whoa! The milk and rice. I almost spilled all of it. Okay, so here comes the milk and water. This thing's gonna overflow, I think. All right, right at the edge. All right, look out. Now I gotta get the rice in there before it's too late. Uh, uncooked rice. Heat to boil, stirring occasionally. Oh, come on, rice. Come on, rice. All right. So there you go, there's that. I don't wanna do that. I feel like when people cook, they do that. Like that, so there you go. All right, and now it wants me to stir it. Something smells like it's burning, by the way. But how am I supposed to know when the rice is cooked? And this also seems like a lot of food, too. Oh, no. I don't know, I'm just stirring right now, totally in the blind. It really looks like if you got sick on pizza day at school, that is exactly what this looks like. So I don't know, it says stir occasionally, so. I'm not good at stirring occasionally, so what I try to do is I stir the whole time, but I just make very, very small gestures. Like a cat, when it cleans its face, that's what I try to do. It doesn't look at all like tacos, I'll tell you that right now. It said I was supposed to boil it and then reduce heat, which I did on instinct, so I got that part. And then it says cover, which is going to be a problem because this does not have a cover. And it says to simmer for 20 minutes. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What is simmer? And it says stir occasionally until rice is tender. Well, how am I supposed to cover it and stir it? Ooh, this gets hot. Careful. All right, I'm turning the heat down a little bit lower. And I got foil. I'm gonna just cover it with this, I guess. Ah, this is so hot. I don't think this is covered enough. All right, let me try it with this. All right.
Minute one. All right. The recipe doesn't say this, but I say, garnish it with those guys. Here it is, the moment of truth. Oh! <laughs>